everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, so my name's Rachel and today I am here with a plant haul slash come plant shopping with me video. Um, so this past weekend I drove up to Cardiff with my husband, sister-in-law and nephew. They were going to see the uh, Man United versus AC Milan um, match at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff and so I decided to tag along even though I'm not the slightest bit interested in football but I did have a short list of uh, garden centres and houseplant shops in Cardiff that I wanted to check out so I had gone onto Facebook and I'd asked in one of my houseplant groups um, if anybody who was from Cardiff or at least from Wales had any suggestions of uh, places that I could go and visit and I got um, a list of three or four different places. So one of them was Pew's Garden Centre up in Caerphilly, which is about a 20 minute drive from Cardiff. Um, another one not too far away was the Caerphilly Garden Centre. And then um, in Cardiff itself was a store called Eartha. And then there was one other place, which I can't remember the name, it was a something succulent emporium um which i actually didn't make it to because they closed at four on a saturday and i just didn't have enough time to go and do everything but i did manage to get some really great plants from the three places that i went to um and of course i had some birthday money so whilst um, my husband was at his football match i was going a bit mad in the garden centers and i think I've learned that I should not be left alone in a garden center i always need to be supervised because otherwise I will just go mad and I did go mad. I got so many plants, um, but I will show you those uh, in a short while. But first let's go through the footage of uh, the different garden centers that I went through and I can um, show you the sorts of things that they had. So this is Eartha, a really cool pop-up shop on City Road in Cardiff and it is located inside the uh, Blue Honey Local which is a cafe and bar situation, um, a really amazing place, really cool music, really nice vibe um, and the whole story behind this shop was really inspiring. The guy who owns all the plants is called Stephen, um, he wasn't there unfortunately when I got there um, but he um, suffered from depression and found that houseplants were a way of um, lifting him up out of that and getting him on the road to recovery in terms of his mental health. And um, so he decided to open up a plant store um, where he could spread the houseplant joy and use the plants to um, get rid of depression and anxiety. And I just think it's such an inspiring little story. Um, the fact that he kind of um, made something out of a situation which was less than ideal for him and has created this little oasis on a busy road in Cardiff. Um, he has a really good selection of plants. You can see there's Sansevierias, there's ferns, um, there's a ZZ plant, um, and it's all sort of spread out around the, the cafe. And it's really great because the owners of the cafe get some free decor. You know, there are so many cafes these days who love having all of these hanging plants everywhere and all the greenery, but of course they have to pay for it. But um, here it's just this perfect symbiotic relationship. Um, I was actually super tempted by this uh, Begonia Maculata, but I decided i just not quite in the market for one yet. I think at some point I might want to get one, but not right now. Um, if you ever go there, try out their iced teas. This one was a blueberry and honey iced tea. Um, and I actually stupidly spilled this all over myself because I was too busy looking at my phone instead of what I was doing. Another thing that I loved about Eartha was the fact that it also helps to support local businesses. So this was a local jewellery designer um, whose pieces are inspired by plants and flowers. I think her name was um, Amy Yao. This is her business card here. Super cute. Yeah, so Amy Yao. Um, and then there was a whole variety of other things like a um, local ceramics maker and he was selling some of the plant, plant pots that he does. And I just really love this idea of small businesses being able to work together and help each other out. This was also a pot here, which was handmade in the area. 
And then if you walk out towards the back of the shop, they've got an outdoor garden where they've set up a yurt. And inside there, I guess they have different functions. There's extra seating. And then right in the middle, they've got these hanging um, macrame planters. With, with plants in them for sale and also this sort of central area which was full of different cacti um, which were also part of Eartha's produce and um, the shop. They also had these grow lights set up on the side of the wall and they had some uh, pilea peperomioides and other succulents under there. I really enjoyed visiting Eartha and if you are in the area, please do go check them out, um, support the initiative that's going on there. It's such a great thing to see small businesses um, being a part of the community and working together and helping each other out. Um, and also check out the, um, the food and the drinks that they've got there too. Next, I went up to Pew's Garden Centre near Caerphilly. It started raining by this point, so I was really happy to get inside. And they had such a great selection of plants. I didn't know what to expect, but they had some different plants which I haven't seen um, in any of the garden centres where I live. This alocasia, which was absolutely huge, was only £30. And I really, really wanted to take it home. but that's kind of like a piece of furniture. You've got to consult your other half on a plant that big, surely. This was a beautiful philodendron that they had climbing up a moss pole. Um, I didn't take a note of what kind of philodendron it was, so maybe someone could leave that in the comments down below. But um, really nice sized plants. And then, of course, they had the Monstera adansonii, which was $21.99. And it's a pretty good sized plant, I think. I've seen it cheaper elsewhere, but with much smaller leaves. So this was a pretty good price, I felt. Um, and then they had a Tradescantia zebrina, um, a watermelon peperomia, really beautiful sort of bluey gray colored leaves there. Then they had um, the Raphidophora tetrasperma. This caught my eye immediately when I saw it. It's such a sought after plant now. It's so big on social media. Everyone's looking for one. Um, so this was $14.99 for a really nice sized plant with new growth coming through. They also had a really great selection of cacti. I'm always drawn towards these Opuntia cacti. I just feel like they are so interesting to look at with the different pads that get that grow. Um, and then this one had, I believe, is that fruit on there? Um, it just looks so interesting. I mean, I know literally nothing about the care of these cacti, but um, I'm always drawn to them. And um, they had a good selection of Santaveria, but I'm always after ones like the moonshine or different colored Santaverias, which I never seem to find in this country. I always see them on Instagram and nobody seems to be selling them over here. And then they had uh, some Fatsia japonica, which I actually have out in my garden, and then a couple of begonias. And this one really caught my eye because it was flowering, the most beautiful, delicate little pink flowers, which were really contrasted against the silvery green foliage. And like, honestly, this was such a huge plant. I was struggling to hold it with one hand. Um, and it was 12 99 guys. Like I, I almost took it with me, but I really would not know where to put it. It was such an amazing, magnificent plant. <laughs> And then I went to have a look at their succulent selection and they had these little Aeonium tricolors or Aeonium kiwis, which I thought was so beautiful. They almost look like a rainbow. Um, but I know these are kinds of plants that I don't have the amount of light for in my house that I need. And then these guys, which are absolutely huge and so stunning. I just look at that color. It's absolutely beautiful. It was $15.99, an Echeveria Magic Red. Absolutely stunning. More Apuntias. I'm gonna have to get one at some point because I'm always drawn towards them. And look at the spikes on this guy. I would not want to get stuck on one of those. <laughs> 
So next I headed to Carefully Garden Centre which was about a 10 minute drive from Pews and um, this garden centre I can quite honestly say was probably one of the best garden centres I've been to in terms of houseplants. Um, they had such a great selection there and such a wonderful quality of plants as well. Everything was really um, quite a sizable plant and they were all really well looked after. And the guy that I spoke to actually said that their selection at the moment isn't as wide as they normally have it because they were waiting for a delivery to come in. So I can't imagine what it would be like if they had their full selection there. This was a stunning string of nickels, which I haven't seen before. Such a beautiful plant, all these those little round leaves there, so unique. Um, they had all kinds of philodendrons and pothos. Um, this particularly long string of trailing leaves there was really lovely. I really did not know where to look first. Um, string of turtles, which I've been wanting for a really long time. This really cute little pot of philodendron Brazil. Only five pounds for that. The only reason I didn't get it actually was because my mom has one and I'm gonna hopefully try and get a cutting from her. They also had a really great selection of staghorn ferns and they all looked so healthy. Um, other times that I've seen them in garden centres, they've looked a little bit ratty, a little bit sad for themselves. Um, but one day I'd really like to get a few and try that wall mounting technique that I've seen everywhere. These were £7.50 for a really good sized fern. So I was really surprised at that. And then we had these Calathea leopardina. Lepardina, yep, that's the name. <laughs> um, the Oxalis triangularis, which were flowering, really, really beautiful dark foliage there. And then right in the middle of it, they had one Alocasia stingray. I always love looking at how unique these leaves are. For 12 pounds, it was a pretty good sized plant, um, but just look at those leaves with that long tail on there so beautiful and so unusual looking my eyes were drawn to this beautiful watermelon peperomia because it was just so huge 14 pounds for it and um the leaves were just so healthy looking and so like it's that's the biggest watermelon peperomia leaf i've ever seen and then right next to it, they had a Raphidophora tetrasperma um, in a different form than what I'd seen at Pew's. Pew's garden center had a more of sort of a bushy form. And this was more of a single vine going up a pole. And in a way, I feel like I actually prefer this look because you can actually see the, um, the outline of the, the shape of the leaves much more clearly. They had these single leaf Hoya kerii. Um, I'm actually after the whole plant, but nowhere seems to sell them. Don't know why, but it'd be great if I could find one and especially a variegated one too. They had the Alocasia Black Velvet, which I was so happy to see. Um, I knew instantly that that was gonna go in my basket. And these ones had quite a lot of leaves. They were quite big plants. And I was so happy to find this variegated Serapegia woodii. I didn't even know that I needed this plant in my life until I saw it, but it had such striking colors and I just found it to be so beautiful and only nine pounds. I can highly recommend this garden center if you are after hanging plants. They had such a wide variety. Um, I'm not sure what this plant is called, but I just loved the contrast between the dark green succulent leaves and the pink stems and then they also had this beautiful crassula plant um, which was just so stunning I have a smaller version of it where the actual stems are much much smaller um, 
the, these were really monstrous and like really fat and full looking so it was so cool to see Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up a smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. And then they had um, these lipstick plants for £16. Really, really nice full pot. And the beautiful red blooms there, which are in the shape of lipsticks, which is obviously where the plant gets its name from. And then there was this plant, which I think might be a type of Hoya. I'm not entirely sure, but it was such a full basket as well. I was so tempted by all of these plants, except I literally have nowhere to hang them all. So I had to break, make some really hard decisions here. Open up. You open Bitch, you won't be me, yeah, We should be closer than friends, uh, If you OPN, uh, Engaging you's on my agenda Request my chariot to get ya The door's OPN, uh, Take that hot road and hop in, uh, Open up, up oh, open up oh, Shut it down like a Macintosh Open up, open up, open up, open up they also had this small section of miniature plants. So these were in um, pots which were probably around 10 centimeters. And then they'd showcase this little terrarium with um, all of the tools that you'd need to make it. So they had these tiny uh, Peperomia Rossos for three pounds. Um, I've got one of these at home, a much larger one. Um, they had a whole selection of aloes. That one looks a little bit sad. <laughs> Um, but these are all perfect for putting into terrariums um, and growing in a confined space. I mean, obviously, eventually you would have to plant these out because these plants won't stay that size forever. But um, it was super interesting to see a great selection of these small plants which can be kept in terrariums. And then I headed over to the cactus and succulent section and I really appreciated that they gave those little tongs for picking up the cacti because sometimes it can be really hard to pick out the one that you want in amongst all these other cacti which all have spikes. And I just love these um, Hawevia fasciatas. I think their colouring and pattern is so striking. But yeah, this garden centre had a great selection of cacti despite being told that they didn't have much in at the minute. Maybe I'm just used to having a not very good selection of plants in the garden centres that I have near me. Um, they had their Sansevierias and the pencil Sansevierias. Um, and then right at the back there, they had these tiny pots of a uh, string of pearls. And then a few larger cactus species, which I just love the colour of this one, but of course have no space to put it, unfortunately. Yeah, so if you ever find yourself in Caerphilly, um, do go visit this garden centre because it is highly recommended. I found a lot of plants there which were on my wish list um, and just it was just a really exciting place to be to see all of these different hanging plants and um, be able to pick up things which I'm not normally able to pick up. So definitely worth a visit if you are in the area. that I picked up from the garden centres and I cannot wait to show you what I got. I'm so excited. Um, so I guess we'll start off with Eartha and the plants that I got from there. Um, actually, it's only one plant that I got from there um, and it is this really cute succulent. I don't actually know what kind of succulent it is. I think it is a, must be a type of Echeveria. This one actually came from the pay as much as you want shelf. Um, I did want to buy something from the rest of um, the, the selection in the shop, but they were mostly really quite large plants or plants which I already have. 
um, or plants that I'm not too interested in having. So he had like a lot of, you saw in the video, a lot of the um, Pilea peperomioides. Um, I, I don't know, I don't really understand the craze for those plants. Um, and then there was a huge, ra um, a huge ripsalis on the, on the ceiling, hanging from the ceiling, which I kind of wanted, but I'm just not really in the market for huge plants right now. I'm kind of running out of space. Um, so anyway, I just picked this one up from that shelf. I absolutely loved the initiative that they are doing there um, in terms of this, the money from all of these plants going towards helping refugees and um, other displaced peoples. Um, in I think it's a it's a kitchen setup that they've got there, and, and the money goes towards funding that. Um, and I mean, it's just such a great deal. I think I gave um, four pounds fifty for this. Um, I just thought, you know, it's it's a really cute plant. It's in really really good health, um, and it comes in this sort of terracotta pot, which I think is is a great bargain. Um, it was a bit awkward actually having a look and trying to decide how much to give because I think naturally you kind of want to save money when it comes to plants but then when you see well it's for a good cause and actually how much how much is a plant really worth you know I don't think we're often in that situation where we get to choose how much we pay for a plant um, so it was it was interesting but I feel like you know I it, it was a fair price and um, it's it's just a really cute plant and so I um, yeah, I feel really good about being able to support the um, support that plant shop in that way. So if any of you are down in Cardiff, do go check them out. Um, and it's within the, the, I think it was called the Blue Honey Cafe. Um, so if you're down in Cardiff, have a look at the cafe, have a look at the um, at the plants as well, um, and try some of their iced tea because I had some and it was great. <laughs> right, next up. Um, I went to Pew's Garden Centre and they had such a great selection um, but I only got one plant from there which is this guy. So this is the um, Raphidophora tetrasperma and I mean this plant is really having a moment right now on social media isn't it? Everybody is after one, everyone's trying to get cuttings um, and I had not seen this plant in any of the stores near me. Um, I don't know about in London, they probably did, probably do have some in London, but um, when I saw this plant, I thought, you know what, it's a great chance to pick it up because who knows when I'm next gonna see it. Um, so this was 15 pounds. Um, it's a pretty large plant, it has a lot of leaves. Um, and I think eventually what I will do is actually repot into a larger pot and then provide it with some sort of trellis to grow up. Um, I think this plant, so on the label, it's actually labeled as Monstera Deliciosa Minima. And I believe that's um, another name for the Raphidophora tetrasperma. It's probably an easier name to remember. Um, and this does look quite a lot like the Monstera in terms of um, the color of the leaves, the form of the leaves with these fenestrations. It requires the same kind of light conditions, the same kind of watering conditions as the Monstera Deliciosa. Um, so I will be keeping it in bright indirect light and keeping it moist, um, watering when it needs it. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy about this plant. Um, it's really healthy. It's putting out loads of new leaves and I can't wait for it to get bigger and start actually growing up something, up a trellis perhaps. And then the plants that I got from Carefully Garden Centre, like I was so impressed with the selection of plants that they had there. I mean, it took me such a long time to decide because I could not take everything home with me. Um, but the first plant that I'm gonna show you is this. Um, so it is a string of turtles or a Peperomia prostrata. Um, so this is a trailing plant or a um, hanging plant and you can see it's got these long tendrils and the leaves which are um, quite thick and succulent in nature um, have this sort of white veining on them which um, is where it gets its name string of turtles because it kind of looks like what the top of a turtle shell looks like. Um, I got this one for it was 16 pounds which um, is a pretty normal price I would say. Um, I've seen it in shops for around 20 pounds for this size so um, I'm pretty happy that it was 16 pounds. Um, 
and I mean it's so cute I can't stop staring at it some of the leaves are quite large and established and then as you get further down the little trailing vines um, they become just the tiniest leaves but they look exactly the same as the large leaves um, in terms of the patterning and the shape and everything I think some of the newest leaves here are probably like half a millimeter across but they all have that amazing white veining pattern on them um, and I'm also excited to take some cuttings of this and create some new plants next up from carefully garden center is this alocasia black velvet um, I did see one in Oxford when I went to the garden center there and I almost picked it up um, but I didn't actually so this one was uh, 15 pounds as well and it needs um, bright indirect light um, and I was so surprised actually when I actually felt the leaves that it they're really tough um, they almost feel like they're kind of plastic packaging almost um, and then they do have this sort of soft kind of powdery texture on top of the leaves but um, this one has six leaves another one coming out so it's a good sized plant um, and I just I just love how dramatic the pattern is on there the contrast between the really really dark green and then the very pale veining on the leaves is just spectacular um, and I can't wait to see how this grows it is absolutely stunning I I love it and I, I'm so happy that I finally got one then the next plant that I got is this variegated string of hearts um, there was only one of these and it was kind of shoved away on a back shelf somewhere and it I just caught sight of it out of the corner of my eye and I thought what is that and I saw it and it's just so beautiful so I have a regular um, string of hearts which is actually going through a bit of a mealy bug infestation drama at the moment um, which I'll probably do a video on later because I am fighting it with all my might but it's not going very well <laughs> so I'm a bit heartbroken um, but this one really helps buying this has really helped um, because it is just so stunning like I had never actually seen a variegated string of hearts before either online or in person so um, the leaves are a much lighter green color than the regular string of hearts it's almost like a silvery green kind of color and then the edges are a kind of pinky um, white cream sort of color and then there are even some leaves um, I did find a leaf earlier which is almost all white um, which is beautiful and I mean it's just they're just so interesting like there's a leaf here which is half green and half white um, there are ones which are more uniformly sort of silvery with green speckles um, and it's just such an interesting plant like I cannot believe that I found this um, and this was only nine pounds, so I'm I'm so surprised by it and so happy. Um, it's just a, it's just a stunning plant, and these are one of the ones which are really fun because they're so easy to take cuttings from and start new plants that you can give out to friends and family. So um, this is particularly fun. And then the final plant that I picked up was a bit of a impulse buy, I guess. Um, I was having a look at, I mean, I always have a look at the cactus section in garden centers, even though I'm not really that interested in cactuses, but this one just really stood out to me. And um, since I was on this crazy plant buying spree, it kind of just ended up in my basket. And it is this, oops, it is this guy, this monstrous, weird looking cactus. Um, so it's known as a bishop's hat cactus. I'm sure you can see why it kind of has that sort of shape of you could imagine a bishop wearing that as part of his Sunday garb. Um, and the scientific name for this plant is an Astrophytum myriostigma. Myriostigma. Astrophytum myriostigma. Um, and it is native to Mexico and then it has satin yellow flowers in the summer and I looked up some pictures online and the flower comes out of the middle here um, and it looks really pretty. Um, this is a very slow growing cactus um, so I imagine that it will probably stay looking like this for quite some time um, possibly getting a bit bigger in size maybe but I'm not anticipating that I'm gonna have to do too much upkeep to it um, it requires very little watering 
you know, it is such a solid fleshy plant, you can just imagine how much water it can actually hold inside the body of the plant itself. Um, and so, I mean, I am pretty happy to just leave this to its own devices. I think it requires just a tiny bit of watering every now and again. Um, I know that in winter it needs a period of dormancy, so you don't need to water it at all. Um, and I mean, it's just, it's just such an interesting plant. Uh, it's definitely one of the more unusual uh, additions to my collection, but um, I, yeah, it's it's so cool. I love it. <laughs> so guys, that is everything that I bought this past weekend. Um, it's not every day that I go on a plant spree like that. Um, yeah, I'm, I can't believe how many plants I bought. Um, I try to save my money as much as I can, but I guess when it's a special occasion, you know, you've really just got to just gotta enjoy it <laughs> and um, I'm so happy that I managed to find as many plants that I did as I did that are on my wish list plants that I've really wanted for a long time um, and now I've just got to get used to taking care of them finding the best place in my house for them to go and getting used to um, the watering regime and their care needs and and the rest of it so um, you'll probably see these plants in an update um, in a, a future video at some point but until then, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please leave a comment in the box below just to let me know how I'm doing, um, any videos that you'd like to see in the future. And of course, please, please, please subscribe to my channel so you can be updated on any new videos that are coming out. Um, I have an Instagram page at The Accidental Jungle, so do follow me on there for um, more frequent updates. Um, but. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.